Hello? Oh, hey. Come on in. Hi, I'm Francesca Liddy. I'm here for the interview. Oh, Jimmy McGill. Hey, are you uh, running early or am I running late? No, I'm sorry. I'm a little early. It's not a problem. Never bad to be early, except in death and taxes and some other things. <laughs> hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Does that look straight to you? Mm. I think there, that, that side, I think you're a little crooked. The bottom of the M there. Yeah, a little crooked. So you're coming off of seven years at the MVD? I am, yeah. Here's a question. How come New Mexico doesn't call it the DMV like every other state? Well, that's a great question. Uh, just like in Arizona, the Motor Vehicles Division is part of the DOT, a division. Whereas in most other states, the DMV, or Department of Motor Vehicles, is its own entity. So I don't know if that answers the question, except to say, that's the government for you. You got that right. Hmm. Well, I, for one, am not calling it the MVD. DMV all the way. What do you think you learned the most working there? Patience, diplomacy. You made all sorts of people down there. And most are really great, really friendly. But you encounter some who are upset, belligerent. What about old folks? You get your fair share of them? Oh, lots of elderly drivers. After 75, they need to take their test again. So if they don't pass, you have to explain to them why their license isn't being renewed, which is hard for them. What do you say then? Do you ever yell at them? I mean, geezers, right? How can you not? No, I would never, no. Nor should you. That was a trick question. You passed with flying colors. Very good. <laughs> OK, well, then. So Jimmy and I have very different needs. His practice is mostly wills for senior citizens, while I'm focused on a single client at the moment, Mesa Verde, with banking regulations that generate a ton of paperwork. So I'm looking for someone with an eye for organization and detail. Well, DMV's great for that. Tons of detail in those driver's licenses. We did see hundreds of people every day, and you'd never want to let a mistake slip through on their forms. You just have a horrible cascade of problems. Sounds challenging. So why the law? I mean, why leave the DMV or MVD? I have to imagine you'll be giving up a good benefits package. Good health care and retirement plans, but there's a bureaucracy to government work that ultimately became too frustrating. I guess what you call it, too much red tape. I just want to be somewhere I can make a difference. Well, that's us. We're all about making a difference. And I see here both Word and Excel you're comfortable with? Absolutely. Excel and Word? Wow, well, you had me at old people. Hey, here's a question. Can you start today? I can. Uh, yes. Fantastic. No, can, you, can you just give us a second, Francesca? Absolutely, I, of course. Um, Thank you. Uh-huh. What are you doing? What, I like her. Can you start today? Don't you think we should see some more resumes, like a lot more? She is our first interview. We haven't even checked her references. So we'll check them. Kim, you've been taking forever searching for a paralegal. We need help here. I haven't found the right fit. Yeah, because you're searching for perfection, and perfection is the enemy of perfectly adequate. Oh, so the bar here? Adequate? She's more than adequate. She worked at the DMV. That's like the fifth circle of hell. She's overqualified. If it doesn't work out, we can fire her. It's no big deal. Don't you think someone with some actual legal experience would be better? Look, I've got a commercial airing in... 11 minutes, so the phones are going to be ringing off the hook, and I need help. Can we give her a test run, please? I got a good feeling about this. Come on, Kim. 